Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about PC cases in our next part of the Computer Parts Explained here in I Game Over. So um, by popular demand we continue. Okay, so simply put, um, PC case or a chassis as some call it, right, it's a housing for all your components. This is where you put all of your, um, of your computer parts that you've bought, right, and you've chosen before, you put them all into that case. It provides some convenient connections, right, like USB ports and audio ports, namely, you know, microphone jacks and headphone jacks, etc, etc. And um, at the back is where you will connect all your prepper holes, right? So the motherboard will provide you with uh, USB ports and uh, audio ports and you name it, like LAN ports and Wi-Fi, whatnot, right, everything. There are just basically three current um, uh, types of PC cases. You have a standard cases which uh, range from cheap to, well, really expensive depending on materials that you get. And um, they come in all variety, shapes, size and forms. And uh, basically you just need to think of what kind of motherboard you have chosen. Because if you've chosen a mini ITX uh, motherboard, like really the smallest one, then I guess there is not really much point for you to um, to invest in a massive case, right? Because it will only take space and it will look empty inside. So um, that would be the very first thing you want to talk and to, to think about, right? Then there are windowed cases. They will have a window either on the side or, you know, Inwin recently introduced uh, some cases that are windowed on both sides. And, um, well, some cases like mountain mods will provide you with an option to have windows on all sides, even on the top, right? So, well, you know, if you have a really nice equipment inside and um, you really want to show it off, it's all color matched and, you know, with beautiful LED lights and everything, then, uh, yeah, probably this one is for you. It's not going to be as quiet by rule of a thumb, right? But, uh, and sometimes the airflow suffers a little bit. But um, they tend to be very, very beautiful cases indeed. And then you have uh, noise insulated cases, so if you're a little bit uh, freaky like me and you like your silence when you're computing, then um, cases of uh, likes of fractal design are probably the best for you. They will have a thick noise insulator insulation inside uh, some bitumen or something along the lines, and um, they're usually really heavy, so uh, once you put all your components in, you probably don't want to move it too much. Um, well, obviously it's still possible, but it's going to be a bit um, heavy, right? <laughs> Let's say that. Now, um, your your cooling capabilities in this case will range from horrible to really quite good. Again, it very much depends on your uh, PC case, on the manufacturer. You know, you need to be thinking like, how many fans do you have in your um, in your PC case when it comes in, right? Because sometimes you are only going to get one fan, sometimes two or three or more. And there are usually, in most of the cases, some extra fan slots for you to be able to buy your own fans and install them later if you need, you know, a little bit more cooling. Now, the choice of the case is very, very simple, okay? Uh, you choose your motherboard first, then you know what size it is. And based on that, you choose your case. Now, there are some major minor differences between different cases, different manufacturers, so you should probably um, choose the way as follows. Look for the cases that you like the best, that they look for you the best, okay? And uh, once you find them, search for online reviews. There are tons of those, okay? And the people will tell you um, what are good things with those, what are bad things with those, Pretty good uh, channel to watch for is Alinus Tech Tips. You probably heard about them before. They're actually really good and quite independent. Really nice. So um, note that um, if you have a mini ITX case, uh, sorry, motherboard or a micro ATX uh, case, you can fit it in normal ATX size or extended ATX a size um, case, it's just no point, okay? Furthermore, um, things to consider are cooling, right? Are you planning to build a computer with uh, lots of computing power, really high-end um, really high processor, or uh, maybe multiple graphics cards? 
then you really should invest in a case that has a lots of fans and lots of cooling potential, right? Maybe noise insulated uh, or a tiny case is not entirely for you, right? Um, if you plan water cooling your computer in any way, you have to make sure that um, your case is compatible because some cases just not just are not, right? And um, there are a lot of cases that are to higher or lesser degree, but um, again, that's a little bit of a research on your part. It will be too much to talk about because there are just hundreds of cases out there, okay? And um, and like I said, um, you have your motherboard already, right? Or you've chosen your motherboard already. The size, that's really all it is, you know? Size matters. <laughs> and, um, and further down, down the line, it's just choice is really cosmetic. Do you like how the case look? Do you like its size? It's not taking too much space? Or maybe you would like to have it a little bit future-proof, you know, I don't know, for more hard drives, for example. You know, that is a consideration you should make yourself too. And then there are qualities, right? Um, type material, for example, that, that is made of. Uh, if uh, the enclosure is mostly plastic, it, be even, it could be even pretty good plastic, but if it is plastic, it will be cheaper. If it is aluminium, then it's going to be generally more and more expensive, so the better materials, uh, the better the case, or the better the quality of the case, it's not as flimsy, but the price rises as well. Um, the best top tip is go to your local, local retailer, uh, they will always have some cases on display, and they will be more than happy to advise you, okay? Um, very important, don't look at the photos on the internet too much. They might give you an example of how the case looks like, but from my experience, the case looks always differently once you use it hands-on than on the glam shots, okay? So um, I will now provide you with some uh, pictures of different cases and different sizes and windows isolated and so on, and with my personal recommendations for each and every category. And I hope you enjoyed that video and uh, stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button because it really helps a lot to keep me going here. And um, stay tuned for more. If you subscribe, then you will get all the updates about all the newest videos and uh, there will be more. This series will come back pretty soon. Until then, have a great day and bye.